Somebody who has shoved her creativity deep, deep down inside for so many years. I understand how awful and how frustrating and how depressing it can feel when all you want to do is create, but you don't. <laughs> it's Francisca and welcome to today's video on how to clear your creative rut energy. <laughs> so this is the first video in a three-part series. In today's video we're going to talk about the creative rut and what you can do to get unstuck as well as give you some journal prompts. The second video I'm going to be releasing next week is going to be some tarot spreads so that you can kind of check in with your creative energy and see what's blocking you and kind of move forward there. And then the third video is going to be a meditation that I'll release in a couple of weeks. So uh, lately in breath work, I've been having some clients where creative blocks have been coming up for them throughout a breath work session. And they've been feeling the blocks in their throat chakra. I've also been noticing in the sacral and the root chakra, which really makes sense to me because the throat chakra is all about expression and interpretation, being able to hear. Um, and the sacral chakra is all about moving feelings, movement, but also about passion, pleasure, and creativity. <laughs> and then our root chakra is all about feeling safe, feeling grounded, feeling a foundational basis um, and security. So I feel like there are three foundational blocks that you need for creativity to flourish. Um, and this is just my interpretation based on, you know, mentors, teachers, coaching, therapy, and books that I've read. So I'm gonna pull from all of those resources just to kind of give you guys um, a basis on, you know, what you can do if you're feeling uh, that creative energy is not flowing for you. So the first uh, thing that I think is necessary is I think you need safety. <laughs> you need to feel safe in the sense that you can express yourself. You need to feel safe that you can create, that it's an actual action that you can do um, because we can think all day, we can dream all day, but it doesn't turn into anything. It doesn't materialize until we actually take action on that. So you really need to feel safe in order to do that. And I also feel like you need space to create. And I'm not just talking about physical space, I'm talking about mental, emotional, and spiritual space. Because to be able to create, you need to have the flow and the downloads come through you. Because I feel like creation doesn't always just come from us. It, we're the action-oriented part of the creativity, but we're also the receivers of the creativity. So you need to have plenty of space to be able to receive that information so that you can flow it. So feeling safe, having space and flow, I feel like are key elements and components in creativity. The things that enhance uh, safety and space and flow for me are having a system where I get out ahead of it and I get to the core of maybe why I don't wanna create. Also having movement, play and collaboration and asking for help. So. Um, all of those things didn't really come easy for me as somebody who has shoved her creativity deep, deep down inside for so many years. I understand how awful and how frustrating and how depressing it can feel when all you want to do is create, but you don't. <laughs> um, it can lead to numbing, which can exacerbate the creative energy uh, rut. Um, it can lead to so many unhealthy habits which again, inhibit the creative energy from flowing. Um, and it can lead to self harm. And again, those are things that kind of like create this vicious cycle of, you know, feeling bad about yourself and then not creating and then feeling bad about yourself and then not creating and feeling bad for not creating. So there was so many reasons for me not to make this video. Uh, it's raining outside, so it's kind of loud. There's dogs next door barking and you know, the ever present who are you to create a video on creativity? Um, which those feelings are natural and normal. Um, I think that we all have that that fear of like, will somebody like this? Will it, you know, will somebody laugh? Some of us may have those fears more than others, but I want you to know that it is very normal if that's how you're feeling and that's maybe a reason that you don't want to create. There may be other reasons too. And 
So having a system where you can get out ahead of your creativity and also get to the core of maybe why you don't want to create, I believe helps to create space and helps to create safety uh, for you to feel like you can flow that creative energy. And so the ways that I do that are meditation, breath work, and morning pages. So meditation is a really great tool. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to meditate. You just have to have the time and space to do it. Um, and you can do a meditation in so many different ways. And you don't need like an hour or two hours. Sometimes five minutes is enough. For me, it's a 15 minute silent meditation. And most days I meditate in bed. And so I do a silent meditation or reflection before I even get out of bed. And then I'll do a sit down meditation where I'm silently sitting usually in this chair uh, for about 15 minutes. Breath work is a really great way to clear that stuck energy. Um, it helps you kind of get into your body and feel where there may be energy that's stuck. Again, as I said earlier, I have a lot of clients who feel that energy here in the throat chakra and in the, in the sacral chakra where they feel like the air is not flowing or the energy is not moving during a breath work session, but it's really great for people who can't meditate or who aren't comfortable meditating because it really puts the work in breath work and you're not just focusing on silence or you're not just focusing on your breath, you're focusing on a pattern and conscious connected breathing is one of the most powerful breathing techniques that I use and it really helps me. Again, you don't need uh, 90 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes or five minutes is plenty. I have a video and I'll go ahead and link to that video um, here so you can check it out and see how that moves your energy. Um, morning pages. Morning pages have changed my view on creativity. Uh, the Artist Way is an amazing tool. Julia Cameron um, is an amazing teacher. Um, and that has really changed how I view creativity. All of these things help to get you out of your own way. It helps you to kind of get all that shit that's in your head out and in onto a paper and onto, you know, it, out of your out of your body. Breathwork really helps to get it out of your body. Morning pages help to get it on the page so that you're not uh, berating yourself all day. And, you know, so it helps you get all that junk out so you can take the action. And it also helps you receive information too. And talking about receiving information, that is the other tool is playing. Make sure that you're playing, um, creating just for creation sakes, just for your sake and not for anybody else, but also artist dates. So Julia Cameron talks about uh, taking an artist date every week for two hours, going by yourself and doing something, maybe a nature walk, maybe going to an art gallery, maybe just even going and taking yourself out to dinner, you know, just fun stuff, letting yourself play. Play is really important so that you can create that space and that safety and security uh, to be able to create. Movement is also really important. Um, if you're feeling stuck in your throat chakra or your sacral chakra, move your hips, get your throat open, um, and you know, really create that safety and security either in yoga, that's a really great form of movement and helps to get the creative juices flowing, finding sequences that work for you, just playing around with them, again, playing. Um, getting up, dancing, that's also a really great way to get the creative energy moving, like physically moving out of your body. Collaborate, make sure that you're, um, you know, finding like-minded people to help support you and to help bounce ideas off of. It's a really great way to get out of your head and to kind of see that there's other people that might be going through the same thing that you're going through. One amazing resource for collaboration is the Artist Morning. And Artist Morning is a group of people who meditate together and journal together. Um, and I've met some really amazing people through the Artist Morning. One of those people that I've met is Chris Assad, who teaches voice alchemy. Another great tool to create safety, space, and expression, and flow. Uh, voice alchemy is like a cross between breathwork and singing, and it's a really amazing tool to kind of help you uh, unearth all those things that you know you that are holding you back from creating so it's a really great tool and I'll leave a link for both artist morning and voice alchemy with Chris Assad also you want to make sure that you're asking for help 
Um, so if you're collaborating, but you're not asking for help, you're really missing out on a great resource because there are so many like-minded people out there that may be struggling with the same thing that you are. And by voicing your need for support, you're also helping other people who need support too, to be able to come out and say that as well. Um, ask for help from the universe. Ask for help from your little self or from your inner child. Um, ask for help from the tarot cards or oracle cards, which next week we'll do. We'll have some tarot spreads for you uh, so that you can kind of tap into your creative energy. Along the lines of asking for help, journaling is a really great way to ask yourself, like, what it is that you need. So I have three journal prompt questions for you. The first one is, what does creativity mean to you? The second one is, why do you wanna create? And then the third one is, where do you feel most alive in your body when you're creating? So that second question really helps me, my why, like why am I creating? <laughs> you know, what is the point of creating this? Sometimes the point is just to make me feel happy and just to make me um, understand that I am a creator and I can create whatever I want. Um, sometimes that's that's enough. Um, sometimes that answer is because I want to share my interpretation with people. I want to teach. I want to have people open to the possibility of possibilities. Um, that just really lights my heart up. And where do I feel it? I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my throat. Um, that's where I feel like most of the energy when I'm creating, I feel it all in here. And I'm like creating something like a new quiz, a new course, a video, like I get all excited about it. And you know, I just, the, the excitement is in my body and it's almost palpable. Like I can't like almost contain it sometimes. And sometimes I get like really happy and I just feel it all up in here. So those are the journal prompts and tools that I have for you to get your creative energy moving and get out of that creative rut. Next week, I'll be releasing another video with some tarot spreads that you can use to tap into your creative energy. And then the week after that, I'll be releasing a creativity meditation. If any of these tools resonated, please be sure to leave a comment and let me know. And if you have tools that you'd like to share that help you get out of a creative rut, be sure to share them. Um, that's it for this time. See you guys next time. Bye.